Good morning. Welcome back. So in this session, we are going to solve the rapid problem, which is an application of Fibonacci series. The problem statement. So newborn rabbits are put in a cage. We believe this cage for rabbits is called pen. How many rabbits? Two newborn rabbits are put in a cage. How many rabbits will be in the cage after one year? So the rules are the rabbits always produce only one, only one male and one female offspring and can produce once every month. Can produce once they are one month old, then they never die. For example, if Newborn rabbits are kept in a cage in the beginning of a month. In the beginning of a in the beginning of a month, a newborn a newly born pair is kept is kept in a in a cage. They, they start producing they start producing producing a pay at the end of first month at the end of at the end of first month At the end of the end of second month, the end of second month, we will have we have two pairs. Okay, we have two pairs. One, the parent pair, and second one the second one the offspring okay offspring now look at it say month and number of pays month and number of pays the beginning of month one we have one pay the beginning of month two we have still one pair because it is yet to produce, not ready to produce. In the beginning of month three, we have two pairs. We have two pairs, one parent pair and one offspring pair. In the beginning of fourth month, in the beginning of fourth month, the parent pair will produce one more, and child pair is ready to produce. We have, we have three. In the beginning of fifth month, the beginning of fifth month, there are already three. Now the child will produce one, the parent will produce one. We have five. Okay. You can clearly see that this is a Fibonacci series. Okay. So at the end of twelfth month, twelfth month, how many pairs? How many pairs we will we will have? Okay. How many pairs we will have at the end of at the end of 12th month. Okay. Right. So simple application and simple <coughs> use of Fibonacci series. So let us write a program. Open ideally Write a function to generate Fibonacci series. So <clears throat> we, I want number of pays after I want number of pays after the twelfth month. That is n equal to n equal to thirteen. Okay. Now generate. 
So number of pairs. Number of pairs of of rabbits is is fifteen. Okay. Now number of rabbits. How many rabbits are there? Two into number of pairs. In each pair you have one rabbit. Okay. Now print print <coughs> number of rabbits. Okay. Now so write Fibonacci series function. Define define FIB number if n is less than or equal to 1 if n is less than or equal to 1 return n if n is 0 return 0 if n is 1 return 1 else else return if n minus 1 plus if n minus 2 current term plus previous term okay so let us find out how many rabbits we will have in the pen or cage at the end of one year the end of first term so return <coughs> the spelling of return should be correct okay. Return n is less than or equal to return return n. So how many? Four sixty six rabbits. Okay. So let us print entire entire Fibonacci series also. How to print? So paste paste at the end of first month, second month, third month, etc. You map this field for a list of numbers for a list of numbers say 1 to 13 1 to 13 is 1 to 14 okay, you must put 14 to get up to 13 13 is at the end of uh, this is map okay, the result is listed result is listed, okay Okay, these are uh, these are number of pairs month wise. Number of pairs month wise. Okay. So a solution what you want? You you want pairs at the end of twelfth month. Okay. Now let us print this as well. Print. One more parenthesis for list. Okay, now print eights month wise. Okay. Eights is not defined. Pace. This is pace month wise. Pace month wise. We call this as call this as pace. Okay, you got it. So, beginning of first month, end of first month, end of second month, end of third month, end of fourth month, end of end of twelfth month. Okay. So you have two thirty three at the end of twelfth month, and because each pair contains two, total number of rabbits are four sixty six. At the end of fourth month, you have five. At the end of first month, you have five. Okay. So hope you understand it.
So thanks for watching. Keep watching and please subscribe for updates.